All right, everyone, welcome back. Today is Tuesday, January 5th. Let's talk stimulus. The first thing we're going to talk about is the senatorial runoffs in Georgia right now, because that really is the biggest news. I want to share some information with you about the outlook of those elections and what it's going to mean for future stimulus. Right now, I'm going to let you know it does look good percentage wise for more future stimulus payments. And then after that, I want to talk to you about the current stimulus payment that you should be seeing in your account, or maybe you haven't seen in your account. I'm going to share with you some important information information that I think you need to know on why you have not seen it if you haven't or if you have seen it it doesn't really matter you've already seen it you're good to go but first let's go ahead and talk about the senatorial runoffs in Georgia right now based off of polling public opinion recent political moves and the aggregate data compiled from bookmakers across the country it is most likely percentage wise that both of the Democrats are going to win the runoffs in Georgia all the data is pointing to that. Now, let me tell you this. It doesn't even matter if all the data is pointing to that. It could still be that the Republicans win or one of the Republicans win. In fact, based off of all of that information, it is pointing to most likely that the, the Senate is going to be kept by the Republicans, which are in complete opposition to each other. How can the same data point to the fact that both Democrats are going to win, but also that Republicans are going to maintain control of the Senate. This is possible because in each of the individual races, the Democrat, Raphael Warnock and John Ossoff, are in fact in the lead. However, for both of them to win, though, it actually is a more difficult feat, which lends the data to say the Senate's going to be in control of the Republicans. However, by the end of the day and probably maybe some counting tomorrow, depending on how everything goes, we will know for a fact what's going to happen. In this situation, I've already done a video where I shared with you the fact that the ingredients were lining up for a future stimulus storm. And I wasn't lying to you. We have now sworn in the 117th Congress. That's a check. Nancy Pelosi is now the Speaker of the House. Once again, that is a check. We're going to have to see if both of these Democrats win. If both of them win, that's going to be a check, check. We already know the president, Donald Trump and Joe Biden, also now this week, voicing his opinion for more future stimulus, that's a check. It's over. It's it's a wrap. In my opinion, it's a 90% plus chance if the Democrats win the runoffs that you will see another stimulus payment in the near future, probably a month or two from now, in between $1,200 and $2,000, depending on what they want to do. Maybe they'll make it the $1,400 check because they want to bring this one up to $2,000. Maybe they'll just say, hey, let's just send everyone a $2,000 check on top of that. We don't know what's going to happen because there's new individuals, new ideas, new thoughts all in the mix, but another stimulus payment is near guaranteed if that's the case, but we don't know if that will be the case. If even one of the Republicans win, it's probably not going to happen. Now, to me, that's a good and bad thing. I wish the Republicans would just do the right thing and give out the $2,000 stimulus checks, which is obviously the right thing to do. I mean, $600 stimulus check is kind of ridiculous. It's almost a slap in the face to the people who really need help. It doesn't, it shouldn't take putting in Democrats in order to do this because although putting in the Democrats to do this is nice, it also leads to two two years of future decisions of ideological values that are going to be too similar between the presidency, the House, and the Senate. And ultimately, I don't think that's going to be good for America's future economically, socially, politically. It's just not in my veins that I like one group being entirely in charge of really anything. Historically speaking, when there's one group in charge, generally things will go quickly down a direction that cannot be stopped, and it's ultimately not good. I would like the Republicans to be there to balance things out, but at the same time, it seems like they're not doing the right thing when it comes to the stimulus payment. But we will keep our eyes on these runoffs. We will let you know exactly what's going on. But in my opinion, it looks favorable right now at this moment that both Democrats are going to win. And that is favorable for more stimulus in the future. What about the payment that you were supposed to get already? Now, I know many of you listening to me right now have already seen your payment. Congratulations. You have nothing else to worry about. I also know that there are many of you who are watching me right now who are frustrated because you're hearing people all over seeing their payments, they're posting, and you're like, mine's not. What's going on? Why is this the case? Am I going to call up my bank? Am I going to call up the IRS? You're checking irs.gov. You don't know what to do, and you're frustrated. I get it because I'm listening to others who are like that. And Currently, just so you know, you're not in a bad place. I got my stimulus payment from the last one, 
but I'm not seeing it in my bank account on this one. So I'm in the same place you are right now. Now I do have family members who use the same bank that I do and they've seen theirs post, but mine didn't post. So even in the situation where I have the same bank as those individuals, I haven't seen it, but they have. So if you're in that situation, don't worry about it. You're fine. This is what you need to do. Number one, you got to wait. That's the biggest thing. Remember, the federal government is sending these payments out to hundreds of millions of people. And although they claimed we are going to have everything down this time, it's just not logistically possible. They're going to make the mess up. They're not going to get them out to the accounts fast enough. But eventually, it will funnel through all the electronics and it will get to the vast majority of you. I'm not exactly sure what's slowing certain things down, but I do have a hunch that it has to do with the 2019 tax returns. Because one of the things that they didn't tell you about this new stimulus payment is that it's based off of your 2000. 2019 returns, the ones you just did this last year. The previous stimulus payment, of course, wasn't. So therefore, the data was already in and they compiled everyone's data at the same time. Now, it seems to me that the individuals who don't have to file taxes are receiving their stimulus payments quicker than those who did have to file their taxes. However, that's not true across the board because I've seen people who have to file 2019 taxes and they've already seen their payment, but I haven't. I just think that the computers and the banks are getting overloaded right now trying to cross check the data and get the payments through to the accounts and it's not being able to be handled. In my opinion, give it another couple of weeks. In two weeks, if you don't see the payment at that point, we will continue to give you information to tell you which direction to go. Obviously, our information is going to be leading you to go to irs.gov and approach it that way. However, if you did not file your 2019 tax returns, that could be your problem. So if you were supposed to file tax returns this last year and you didn't, this next stimulus payment is based off of that. So if that doesn't mean you're not going to get your stimulus check, it just means that you need to file your taxes. If you did and you haven't seen it yet, don't worry again. You're in good company. I haven't seen mine either. Don't worry. It is coming down the line. You will eventually get it. I also know a lot of people are trying to use the irs.gov website right now to see if they can track their economic stimulus payment, see if it's on their way. I'm going to tell you right now, I think it's a little wacky. I don't think that the data is all right on there. I think some people are seeing data from the last economic stimulus relief payment. Some people are seeing it from now. Some people are seeing that it should be posted to their bank on the 4th, but they haven't seen it. So I wouldn't trust the irs.gov site at this point. It's not going to hurt you to check it out if you want to. You can go to irs.gov and see if you can find your economic stimulus payment. However, I wouldn't put all of your chips into that bag at this point. I would just put them into the weight category. If you didn't file for 2019 taxes, though, you got to do that. Please leave your comments below. This is one of the strongest areas of this site. A lot of people will look below for information from individuals to see what's going on with everyone else. We will keep our eye on these Georgia runoffs to see what's going to happen. It's going to play a big role in what's going down with more future stimulus payments. We should probably know maybe by tomorrow. Earliest, we're going to know by tomorrow. We'll have an episode for you. I'm going to give you my percentage chances that another stimulus is coming on the way, but I think you already know if two Democrats win, very, very high. If one of the Republicans win, very, very low. Very big switch, depending on what goes on. As always, I will catch you all next time.